Welcome, I'm Constant Disappointment here with today's dose of cynicism. Uh, this is part 26 of Join Me for a Walk. The, the last part was about a year ago, and it was part 24. But part 25 was supposed to be a musical episode. So I'm keeping that earmarked. Um, I mean, I'm so lazy and flaky, it's unlikely to ever happen, but I'd like to have the option. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not going to be much walking. Uh, mostly just that little bit of driving and standing around, seeing what happens. Um... Yeah, if you've been prescribed something by a doctor, don't stop taking it on my advice. This is just, uh, this is just my thoughts. It's not advice. So don't take me seriously. I'm, I'm sure you never do anyway. But um, I was on various antidepressants and sometimes antipsychotics and uh, it's Valium and that called it. Um, tranquilizers, something like that. I don't know. I stopped taking them maybe two. A year or two ago, I don't know. I've no interest in interest in starting them again. When you first start them, uh, you think they're doing something the good because they they literally make you high, although not in an overly pleasant way. Uh, yes, yeah, is a good position to be in in case anyone tries to steal the lorry that I stole. Which would be very immoral of him, of course. Uh, when you, yeah, yeah, you, you think you're high. It's not, it's not pleasant, but uh, eventually your body gets used to them, and then they seemingly, they seemingly do nothing. Uh, in recent years, they tell you they're just a part of a process that involves changing your whole lifestyle because it's become clear that they don't do what was. A, what it was originally claimed they do, uh, right. but that didn't that didn't used to be the case. At least in my experience, it was just like they put you on them, and left you to it. Um, admittedly, a lot of that time I was drinking often heavily, which I'm, I'm sure didn't help and might invalidate everything I'm saying. But I've known many people prescribe the same or similar things who didn't drink, or at least not as much as I did, and, and they were never cured. <laughs> I say cured, I've come to think a lot of the time these symptoms aren't really abnormal, they're, they're a natural reaction to the world we've made. Um, uh, like, like, maybe the reason I thought... <laughs> Maybe the reason I thought everything is awful and there's no hope and there's no point getting out of bed for days on end is it? not because there, there's something wrong with me necessarily, maybe it's because everything is awful and there's no hope and nothing majorly good would happen if if I got out of bed. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with personality type as well, like the most effective personality to have under international capitalism to be functional and successful is an energetic extrovert one focused on self-interest above all else no empathy it's not really me so maybe aberration equals illness right like if you can't function what what you saw yeah psychiatric medicine is all just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks and if something doesn't quite stick but it's profitable they put it back up with sellotape I've got rid of most of my books but but Bad Farmer by Ben Goldacre is definitely worth a read it's a it's a bit of a slog but it's it's eye-opening maybe I should walk a bit just to pay lip service to the fact this is called join me for a walk there we go sort of <laughs> No traffic coming from the other side. I think it doesn't really happen if you don't position it properly. Anyway, got a good amount. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, it's a, it's a bad farm by Goldacre. He mainly talks about medicine for actual physical illnesses that have directly observable and objective results and even they're coming from somewhere blatantly corrupt so when you get into psychiatric stuff which is nebulous and relatively vague and amorphous where results are highly open to interpretation and suggestion uh, along with stuff people need to take all the time or they'll, they'll die that's obviously where the real money is um, and psychiatry and psychology has always been kind of a pseudoscience uh, before, during and after that creepy weirdo Sigmund Freud came out with all his dangerous bullshit. Uh, that'll be high on the list of of the greatest benefits of a of a, of a socialist system, I, I, I think. Uh, like scientists, scientists and researchers around the world working together sharing their findings for the sole purpose of finding things that work rather than what we've got now where drug drug cartels um, I mean drug corporations compete against each other hide their research remove any evidence that doesn't suit their ob objective which is purely to make money so even if something does work <laughs> they've got to keep replacing those things with new things to stay ahead of the game it's like it's like on Dragon's Den where they're, they're not interested in in products where you, have, you can buy it once and it will last you a lifetime. They want built-in obsolescence, you know, that's how, that's how the system works. Um, so, it, yeah, but people as a whole don't want socialism, I realise that, so... What can you do? Just gotta accept it, innit? Um, I mean, like, stuff like Thiazepam and Lorazepam works in as far as it stops you panicking long enough for you to go to the shops, but obviously it's very addictive and very dangerous and not a long term solution, so not really a solution at all. But if you want to make a profit, being addictive is a, is a good thing. It's funny that some people don't think they're influenced by advertising when, when doctors who are very clever and educated people just repeat what marketing departments tell them. Oh no, someone's stealing it. I'm well positioned here. We'll, we'll sort it. It's cool. Out of my truck, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we gotta get back up there now. Uh, probably, probably have despawned now. No, no, it's still there. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah. Also, I'm, I'm I'm uncomfortable with the the fact that that people can be locked up indefinitely without any suspicion of them doing a crime on the say so of one or two people I mean you can be locked up for the rest of your life with not being charged for not being charged of, a, of a, any sort of crime whereas if you do a crime you get locked up for a certain period of time and then you, you're free again but you get sectioned that's it's out of your hands it's, you know you got to get better or at least pretend to get better get out of there um yeah and of course with the psychiatric system encouraging children and people in general especially women to hate and mutilate their bodies uh, I mean, it wasn't really that long ago that they were cussing out bits of people's brains Anyway, for the sake of balance and responsibility, I'll, I'll link a video in the description by someone who disagrees with me. This isn't quite as fun as it usually is. Nothing much is happening now. Oh well. Channel's called Constant Disappointment, in it. It's still funny watching them. 
try to figure out what to do. Oh no, not again! I've got some kleptos. I've got some kleptos today. Get out of my truck, you bastard. I stole this truck. All by myself. Have some respect. Um. Yeah, the second thing, uh. was this rather unfortunate exchange. Um, on one of MD's videos, it was it was weeks ago, really. But I have not been functional. I've want I've wanted to address this for a, a while now, but I just yeah yeah I'm I'm I mean I'm bad at video games, but Jesus Christ, not another one! Get out! Get out! There's two people trying to steal my truck. Oh, this is. This is going terribly. This is. Is that other person still? No, they're, they're both gone. That's good. Okay, I'll get on with it. Um, yeah, uh, on one of MD's videos uh, with uh, Leith Furley again. Um, uh, let me just bring it up. See, see what exactly what was said. Um, yeah, I think it was. Uh, is it Ellie or L? Uh, Radical feminist mama. Anyway, uh, she says, I, I think said uh, she she loves animals, and uh, Leah says uh, you love in quotes them, but you don't know them. It hurts cows when they're full of milk and not milked. And then I said, like an idiot. Then don't force them to be. Oh no! Sorry, keep getting interrupted. Oh no, I can't get police now. Hopefully they're running away. No, they're not running away, are they? Oh goodness. This isn't going as planned. Yeah, we got the police. Okay. Better get in the car then. Bear with me. Um, give me give me a couple of minutes to get rid of the police, and 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 then I'll carry on with what I was saying. I'll put some timestamps in this to so you don't have to wade through all this nonsense. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Right. Oh, just pass me. Okay. Uh, oh no. Yeah, this isn't join me for a walk, this is join me for a, everything's going wrong, but there's not really very much walking. No, that's that's too long. That's too long and clunky a title. Ah, uh, there's no turnings, I can't avoid them. If I go in the hill maybe. Not the best craft kind of hill maybe, is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's managed it. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh. I think we'll start. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start. Um, this is cool. This is cool. Yeah. I have a visual on the target. Jesus Christ! Police cars are everywhere. I'm two stars now as well. Oh God! Motherfucker. At least it's not real life, eh? Real life is much worse. So be grateful. Count my blessings. Um. I don't know how to get out of here now. I'll let to stop. I don't know where I am. Why is that swing toward it? Oh, no. Oh, fine. I'll just... I'll get arrested. I'll, I'll, I'll just go a bit postal here. Why not? When things are going in your going wrong in your own life, just take it out on everyone else's name. That's a healthy way to deal with things. Okay. I'll start walking then. It is joined me for a walk. I'm gonna walk. I'm like them 
them idiot right wingers in the US uh, protesting against not being allowed to spread COVID. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll get back to it now. Um, yeah, like an idiot, I said then don't force them to become. Pre I'm talking about cows with full udders because they've been made pregnant and their kids have been taken away from them. Um, yeah, so I remind you what I said because it was about 10 minutes now ago, wasn't it? Oh, what Leah said. Uh, you love them in quotes, animals. Uh, but you don't know them. It hurts cows when they're full of milk and not milked. And I said, uh, then don't force them to become pregnant in it. You're paying for rape, basically. Which was... <laughs> and Leah said, don't compare raising livestock to raping actual human women, ever. That is pure misogyny. Lost a lot of respect for you with that comment. Which... I have to say, I, w I was, I was quite flattered by him because I didn't realise he had any re respect for me in the first place. Uh, but yeah, I said uh, that's cool. You shouldn't have had respect for me anyway. And Leah said, I always assume, assume people are better than comparing women to animals. I guess I'm just too optimistic. Um, yeah, so. Uh, Yeah, yeah, I, I, I understand. I, I get what she's saying. Obviously, absolutely. I, I realise the long tradition of. Oh, we lost the police now. Fine, just carry on walking then. We're near the mountains anyway. It could be quite pleasant. How the, f how the fuck did I lose the police? They had like seven cars, and I'm on foot. <laughs> in my pants, I'm pretty pretty obvious where I am mm. anyway, I keep getting distracted, sorry uh, I realise the long tradition of men comparing to women uh, comparing women to animals as one of our tactics of dehumanising them and I did say that uh <laughs> I, I thought about editing it afterwards to remove the bit after the comma about rape but I said it it was automatically removed because I said rape and then I said it again and censored the word rape so I, I, I obviously wanted to say it and I don't want to pretend I'm better than I am um but uh there's There's a book, book I've got from the women's press called Rape of the Wild, which uh, raping cows which are not wild and ra I, I, I don't know. Um, the, the, I looked at it and hoping to find something that would back me up maybe, but they 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 really don't at all. Um, it's it's by Andre Collard and Joyce Contrucci. Um, yeah, the women's press. I, I wondered what had happened to them. They 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 published some of the most important books, like book upon book of brilliant writing, and um, well, that's quite pretty. Yeah, that's nice. Um, yeah, apparently they only folded in twenty thirteen. Or I, I don't know anything they did since maybe the early 90s. Uh, yeah, there's, there's radfem.com, but the, not all of the books are on there. I, I really hope they don't get lost to history. Um, maybe I could send my copies of some of them off to somebody who could digitise them. But uh, yeah, they, they, they don't really talk that much about farming. They mainly talk about... Um, uh, animal testing and hunting, but they do talk about about the desouling of animals, which um, yeah, I, I, 
my intention was not to try to drag women down to the level of non-human animals you know what I mean um I I just don't oh that's pretty as well wow it's kind of beautiful on both sides yeah this is improving I, I okay I'm gonna get to the top look at the moon and stand still and <laughs> then just say what I'm trying to say uh yeah, I think um, they talk about the desouling of animals, by which they don't mean like in a spiritual sense. They mean thinking of them as commodities, as as objects. I'd, so I, I I think they deserve more personhood than we currently allow them. But yeah, I, I do I do realise. Uh, what what I said is quite possibly misogynistic which I'm ashamed about um I know I, I heard a I saw a woman say get upset about um antinatalism and said that was misogynist because it it denies womanhood and um I don't know. Maybe it's up for debate because, uh, uh, obviously, uh, antinatalism is uh, pretty much one of the core tenet tenets of uh, radical feminism, isn't it? Uh, separatism and antinatalism. Um, maybe it's up for debate. I don't know. Maybe I just I'm not understanding it properly. But um, yeah, oh, that is a beautiful sky. Look at that. Wow. It's just a shame there's a beardy bloke in, in pants in front of it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not comment on feminist channels anymore. I mean, MD, anyone, if you want to talk to me, um, oh, it's always lovely to hear from you, and but. I'm going to wind my neck in, stay in my corner. Uh, started off with Manchis. I mean, when I first started watching Radical Feminists, I was like, not not going to comment on anything because it's, it's not my place, is it? Uh, but it? The way I remember it, my memory's not brilliant, but um, I was I was in the Manchis live stream years ago and And uh, they were they were asking something that nobody knew the answer to, and I was aware. So I I said something, and I, one of the first things I said was, "I'm a man," and if anyone had a problem with that, I would have I would have not said anything else. But no one said anything, and it's a uh, yeah get. <laughs> you know what men are like, you give us an inch, we take a mile in it. Uh, and mostly I, I haven't commented on, on feminist channels. Um, un Until all the, the nastiness with the MRAs on, on MD's channel started. I, I, I didn't really want to get involved then. It, it was just that there was so much nastiness happening and there didn't seem to be anyone on her side at that time. I mean, there, there was another one or two people, but uh, they were men and uh, that's not what she needed, is it? So, um, it looks a bit Wolfman, that, doesn't it? Universal horror. Uh... Yeah, but um, um, I I tweeted asking for some some before before I got involved, I I, I tried to you know, promote it and to women on my Twitter because my most of my the people I follow on Twitter are women. Um, but nothing came of that, and the nastiness was just carrying on, and and it was all very upsetting. So I I, I did step in then and I think that uh, 
Yeah, I started commenting on other women's channels as well, but but now she's got she's got L and Radical Femmes Mama and and and, and Leah on her side, or it, like better people than me, which which is what I, I I'd hoped would would happen in the first place. So now I I have no real reason to to do it anymore. I mean, um, yeah, Dawkins Ghost, for example, uh, specifically said she didn't want men commenting on her channel so I, I've, I've never done that but yeah from now on I'm I'm just not gonna do it unless unless people specifically women specifically say they they want me to yeah I'll, I'll leave it here on, on my channel and uh, on my Twitter when, it, when no one will see it yeah <laughs> I've been a bit rambly, but we're rambling, aren't we? <laughs> it's okay to be rambly when you're rambling. <laughs> I think I've said pretty much what I wanted to say. Um, I haven't been making very many videos lately. I'm. Woo! I hit the wrong button. <laughs> um, I haven't been doing much of anything recently. I mean, no, no one has, uh, have they? Because. We're all on in on house arrest, but yeah, keeping my hand in. Yeah, that's it. I'll go now. Still pretty sky, nice view. <laughs> Everything is awful, everything is shit when you live in a